I love math and we can spend all day in Excel. We can take a look at, you know, the performance and understand the basics of the bidding formula. Um, but again, we are not going to be able to interpret the volume of data or the number of levers and inputs the same way as a machine. AI is changing the way that people sell on Amazon, Walmart, and beyond. AI is also a very familiar element to take a metrics and has been integral and foundational in Takeometrics flywheel for years. This discussion with Laura Pattison from Takeometrics will help you understand what AI can do in the context of e-commerce advertising and selling, and it'll give you a better understanding of how you specifically can leverage AI technology to grow your Amazon and Walmart business today and what the not so distant future might look like. So let's jump in and let's hear what Laura has to say about AI and e-commerce. Just give us a preface for for like what we're talking about when we say bidding, what are we talking about? Yeah, so bidding is going to be identifying the appropriate value of any, you know, target. When mm -hmm. we talk about target, uh, we're not talking about the store, we're talking about, you know, a keyword, uh, an auto target, whether that's your close, loose, complementary, or substitute. We're going to be talking about category targeting or a product attribute targeting or that ASIN. Um, so when we use target, that's what we're looking at. And so for any of those targets, anytime we are matching uh, a customer intent with our product or our, the targets that we have, we're trying to identify the appropriate value of what we want to pay. Mm. And in order to understand what we want to pay, we have to understand what the value of that click is worth. Yep. Um, and then figure out how much we want to get out of that click, right? And that's our efficiency target. And so that's really what we're talking about when we talk about bidding. So what is AI's impact on bidding through Ticometrics? Absolutely. So, you know, if you go back and you go down to the most stripped down version of a car and you've got your manual vehicle and your gas pedal and your steering wheel, you can get to where you're going. It may not be as comfortable if you've ever, you know, tried to drive a manual on a hill on I a rainy not, day. Actually, no. <laughs> um, but you know, there there can be pain points for sure. Um, it's leaning so much on the manual intervention, and when you're trying to do this at scale with thousands of keywords, that can be a pain point. So yep. um, AI is allowing us to do this at scale. Um, the manual intervention should understand how and why it's being done, but AI is involved in many different places. Number one, again, as I said, the scale of it. Number two, when we don't necessarily have enough data um, behind a keyword to begin with, you know, everything that we break out is gonna start as a new target without that historical data to tell us what that click is worth. Um, and so we're leaning on AI for this discovery period of, is it worth this? And so we use a reinforcement learning algorithm to say, I'm gonna push the bit up, I'm gonna pull it back and start to see where I'm getting that data. Once I get that data, then I can start to lean into that value-based bid. What are the implications for the future of Takeometrics because of AI? Yeah, the future of Takeometrics because of AI are, are include recent releases. You know, the seasonality periods or the predictive modeling of what's happening after or before tentpole event days. Um, when you're leaning on historical data, you're rooted in the past, right? You're rooted in what has already happened. And so as you start to see a change in conversion rate, you can be a little bit behind the curve. Mm. In something like Prime Day, you know, that isn't great during Cyber Weekend because you really want to hit the punch hard, right? When yep. that is first kicking off, same with Prime Day. That's such a short period of time. And you wanna make sure that you are able to capture the growth very, very quickly. And mm -hmm. so AI is able to support that. Um, beyond that, inventory indicators of, hey, I'm, I'm getting ready to go out of stock or I have a lot of stock. What changes do we want to make? And so, you know, to lean in on the point of what is the overall future of e-commerce with AI and AI bidding, um, it really leans into the number of inputs and different levers. Mm. The seasonality piece, the inventory piece, the discovery, the change in behavior, the amount of competition out there, and being able to intercept so many data points that would usually, if you're sitting there trying to do the math yourself manually, would overlap and start to pull you in different directions. Yep. It can synthesize that and, and create more clarity of that of the, from all of those data points than any human could, no matter how good they are at math. Hey, thank you so much for joining this conversation about artificial intelligence. Subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with all things AI and e-com. And of course, to gain access to artificial intelligence in e-commerce, click below to sign up for Takeometrics Flywheel 2.0 for free, and we'll see you there.